just over a fortnight ago, one of our journalists, Matu Militswala, came to me with a strange and disturbing story. He had found documentary evidence that a company involved in financial services uh, was paying very large sums each month to Nolotondo Vavi, that's the wife of the Kasatu um, Secretary General's Wedan Zima Vavi. And it appeared that this company was selling services to unions affiliated with Kasatu, and obviously that raised disturbing conflict of interest questions uh, for the Vavis. What was really disturbing, though, was that when he pursued the story and attempted to uh, interview Vioni Bock, who is the CEO of the company in question, SA Quantum, Mr. Bock essentially offered him a bribe of 120,000 Rand to suppress the story. Now, he could have done one of two easy things. He could have simply said, no, I won't take the bribe and carried on with the story. Or he could have accepted the bribe. It's a lot of money and journalists don't, urge, don't earn huge sums and many people seem to think that we're all corrupt anyway. In the event he did neither of those things, he did a braver thing. He came to me and to senior colleagues in our investigations unit and told us about it. And we agreed that the best thing to do uh, would be to illustrate the seriousness of the story by going ahead, accepting the bribe, collecting evidence um, uh, that it had been offered, and really exposing the, the, the scale of the corruption involved. So that's what we did. Um, very, very brave move on Matuma's part. It's a frightening enough thing meeting hostile people whom you don't know and who have every reason to want to shut you up. Uh, all the more frightening to meet them in a deserted parking lot and accept an, an envelope full of cash uh, from them. We've now uh, handed the cash and an affidavit setting out all the facts to our lawyers and uh, we're considering exactly what to do next. But I thought that the first step was to um, inform our readers that Mr. Bock felt that the story was so damaging and the allegations so serious that he needed to spend this kind of money to shut us up. And secondly, of course, that we're not so easily shut up. Yeah, I see the green gate. Um, what is to let? Link view, 260, Kent Avenue. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, sir. Hey, how's it? Hey, this is a very awkward place. How's it? So sharp. Is this an office or what? Hmm? Oh, whose office is it? One guy I know. How's that? Mm. Okay. Huh? So there? Oh, I'm also going to... My friend is opening, what do you call? A bar. No, he built the... Where? Hmm? Where? Jimiston. Oh, okay. Somewhere there. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Shut up, shut up. 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 Shut up, shut Okay, sir. Ah? Okay. Okay, shop shop. <laughs> okay. So this is, uh, we can talk down. Yeah. Okay. Shop shop. Enjoy the party, then? Yeah. All right. Eta, eta. <coughs>